so this is even number three function of several variables so in this sessions we will discuss the Taylor series and the and its problems here so first we shall go through the definition of Taylor series the Taylor series for function of two variables the definition is f of x comma y equal to f of a comma b plus 1 by 1 factorial h of fx of a comma b plus k into fy of a comma b plus 1 by 2 factorial h square of f double x of a comma b plus 2 hk f of x comma y into a comma b plus k square into f double y of a comma b plus 1 by 3 factorial h cube of f triple x of a comma b plus 3 h h square k f double x of y a comma b plus 3 h k square of f x double y of a comma b plus k cube of y trip f triple y of a comma b plus etc where h equal to x minus a and k equal to y minus b so here is a and b are given points here so given points in the problem so here is how to remember the formula means here is h and k are you can take the value for x minus a and y minus b so treat as h is fx k is fy suppose here is h square is k means we can take f double x suppose k square means f double y so this form okay so multiple of two terms is present hk is present means h can be represented by x y k can be represented by y so f x y so this is the idea so this is one factorial means we can write the single degree so this is a plus b whole square formula a square 2 a b plus b square so f double x f x y f double y so this is square formulas then a plus b whole cube formula a cube plus 3 a square b plus 3 a b square plus k b cube that is a form so be careful here h can be represented by fx k can be represented by fy h square means f double x hk means fxy k square means f double y h cube means we can take triple x h square k means h square means we can take double x k means y then h k square means h is x k square means double y plus k cube means triple y so a comma b so this is a very very important formula so don't memorize here so f of x comma y equal to a comma b f of a comma b plus 1 by 1 factorial h x h into f x of a comma b plus k into f y of a comma b so first write the single degree then after we can square in this one we get the second degree next we can cube in this one we get the third degree so here is one factorial means squaring means we can take 1 by 2 factorial cube means 1 by 3 factorial so these are very very important formulas so be careful here so first we shall go through the first problem here expand e power x cos y about 0 comma pi by 2 up to third degree terms using taylor series so here is we can find up to third degree terms not like a second degree so third degree means we can find up to 1 by 3 factorial itself that means up to third degree formulas so up to this value okay so that implies so first we can write what is the given functions first we can wrote f of x comma y equal to e power x cos y first we can take that one so one by one we have to find here so what is the value we are at 0 comma pi by 2 so this is a is 0 b is pi by 2 like that form okay so first i can wrote here f of x comma y equal to e power x cos y so write as it is then put x equal to 0 y equal to pi by 2 that is equal to what is e power 0 e power 0 is 1 that is cos pi by 2 e power 0 is 1 cos 90 is 0 so 1 into 0 is 0 and next value so first this one is over first value is over next we can find single degree fx so differentiation of e power x is e power x cos y is constant term we can write as it is next fy with respect to y means e power x is a constant term we can write as it is cos y is a differentiation of cos y is minus sin y next put the point here so fx of 0 comma pi by 2 equal to e power 0 into cos pi by 2 that one is 0 then fy of x comma pi by 2 that is e power 0 pi sin pi by 2 e power 0 is 1 sin 90 is also 1 so 1 into 1 is 1 we get minus 1 okay so next f double x 
so already we know the value for fx e power x cos y again we have to differentiate this one with respect to x means e power x e power x is nothing but e power x then write the cos y as it is so next is fxy that is equal to we know the value for fx so differentiate with respect to y here so e power x cos term i can write as it is differentiation of cos is minus sin y so minus sin y so next f double y so already you know the f y so again we have to differentiate with respect to y means so minus e power x we can write as it is differentiation of sin is cos y okay so for next we can substitute the point here so f of 0 comma pi by 2 what is the value where e power 0 then cos pi by 2 this one is 0 next minus of e power 0 sin pi by 2 we get minus 1 then e power 0 cos 90 is 0 so 0 into 1 is 0 okay so be careful here find 1 by 1 again and again here then next is f triple x so f triple x means we know the value for f double x so again we differentiate with respect to x means what is e power x e power x so cos y we can write as it is then f double x y so already we know we know the value for f double x again with respect to y means so e power x is constant e constant term we can write as it is differentiation of cos y is minus sin y so i wrote minus sin y then f x double y so f x double y means so here is we know the value for f double y double y with respect to x means so e power x differentiation of e power x v e power x so minus e power x cos y so e minus e power x cos y then f triple y so we know the value for f double y again we have to differentiate with respect to y means so e power x we can write as it is differentiation of cos is minus sin so minus or minus is plus so we get e power x sin y so here is the important thing is fx double y equal to f double y x is also right similarly this one is f y double x equal to f double x y is also right so next we can put the point here one by one here so first i can put x e power x x equal to 0 cos pi by 2 so we know that x equal to 0 cos pi by 2 is we know the value for 0 cos 90 is 0 so next put x equal to 0 y equal to pi by 2 sin 90 is 1 e power 0 is 1 we get minus 1 next e power 0 into cos pi by 2 that one is we know 0 next e power 0 e power 0 sin pi by 2 that is equal to 1 so we found all the values here up to third degree now substitute the values in the Taylor series what is Taylor series so this is a Taylor series f of x comma y equal this is a formula so put a equal to 0 b equal to pi by 2 so 0 comma pi by 2 1 by 1 factorial h into fx of 0 comma pi by 2 f y of 0 comma pi by 2 where a and b is present means we can replace a in terms of 0 b is pi by 2 first step then after you can substitute the value what is first value f of 0 comma pi by 2 what is first value that one is 0 so i can wrote this first one is 0 plus next one is fx of that is also 0 so i can wrote 0 plus y minus pi by 2 into minus 1 plus 1 by 2 factorial x square into 0 plus 2x into y minus pi by 2 into minus 1 plus y minus pi by 2 whole square into 0 then plus 1 by 3 factorial x cube of 0 plus 3 x square y minus pi by 2 this one is y minus pi by 2 is nothing but your value for hk that is a given here what is hk so here is h h is x minus a y is y minus b so put x equal to 0 that is a equal to 0 so we get h equal to x put b equal to pi by 2 we get k is y minus pi by 2 just we can replace the value that's all so here is y is pi by 2 so k is x square means 3x square y is y minus pi by 2 into minus 1 plus 3x into y minus pi by 2 whole square into 0 plus y minus pi by 2 whole cube into plus 1 next rewrite this one we get this one is 0 so we get minus y so plus pi by 2 then minus 1 by 2 into this one is 0 this one is 0 so we get 2x into 2 we cancelling 2 to here so we get 1 by 2 of so 2x into y minus pi by 2 or cancelling 2 to here then plus 1 by 3 factor is nothing but 1 by 6 then here is we get minus so minus 3x square into y minus pi by 2 plus y minus pi by 2 whole cube here is i wrote the state layer so you can write the one by one by using these formulas so first we can write uh, the points here next step we can replace h in terms of x minus a y in k in terms of y minus b then after we have to substitute the value one by one so we get the required results here 
so this is the first problem so very very important one so next class we shall go through the second problem here okay if you have any doubt means we can ask in the moodle sections thank you